Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to discuss on cube of a binomial. So I have here a binomial a plus b and it's being cubed, so raised to the power of 3. a plus b cube, you can have that one as a plus b times quantity of a plus b times the quantity of a plus b. So we're just multiplying the binomial three times itself. Now, quantity of a plus b times quantity of a plus b is the same as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, then multiply this one to the quantity of a plus b. Now, multiplying the result here, we're going to have a squared times a, that will be a cubed, then a squared times b, that will be a squared b, then 2ab times a, that will be 2a squared b. Then 2ab times b, that will be 2ab squared. Then b squared times a, that will be ab squared. And b squared times b, that will be b cubed. Now we have here like signs. So we are going to have here a cubed. Then a squared b plus 2a squared b, that will be 3a squared b. 2ab squared plus ab squared, that will be 3ab squared. And last will be positive b cubed. Now, we're going to use the product here in cubing a binomial or finding the cube of a binomial. So, for the first term of your answer, that will be the first term of the binomial cube. Then second is 3 times a squared times b. So 3 times the first term squared times the second term. Then third term will be 3 times the first term times the square of the second term. And lastly, the fourth term of your answer will be the cube of the second term of the binomial, which is b. Example number 1. Quantity of x plus 2 cubed. For your answer here, the first term will be the cube of the first term. So our first term here is x. We're going to have x cubed. Then for the second term, we're going to have here 3 times the square of the first term. So x is our first term. So we're going to have x squared. Then times the second term, which is 2. So times 2. Then third term will be 3 times first term x times the square of the second term that will be 2 squared then lastly b cubed the cube of the second term so you're going to have here 2 cubed then operate we're going to have x cubed then 3 times 2 that will be 6 times x squared that will be 6 x squared then 3 uh, they have here 2 squared 4 so 4 times 3 is 12 times x, that would be 12x. Then 2 cubed is 8. So this would be your answer. Example number 2. Quantity of x minus 3 cubed. So our first answer, we're going to have the cube of the first term. So we're going to have x cubed. Then plus 3 times the square of the first term. So we're going to have x squared. Then times... The second term, negative 3 in here. Then plus 3 times the first term, which is x. And times the square of the second term, that would be negative 3 squared. Then plus the cube of the second term, negative 3 cubed. Operating this one here. So we're going to have x cubed. The negative 3 times 3 will be negative 9 times x squared, which is negative 9 x squared. Then negative 3 squared is 9. Then 9 times 3 is 27 times x. That will be positive 27x. Then negative 3 cubed. The answer here will be negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. And last one, number 3. Quantity of 2x minus 4 cubed. 
So we're going to have the first term of our answer as this, the cube of the first term of the binomial. So we're going to have 2x cubed. Then plus 3 times the square of the first term. So we're going to have here 2x squared. Then times third, the second term, negative 4 plus 3 times the first term, 2x, then multiply it to the square of the second term, negative 4 squared. Then our last term for our answer will be the cube of negative 4, which is the second term. Then 2x cubed, that will be 2 times 2 times 2, that will be 8, then x cubed. Then you are going to have here 2x squared, that will be 4x squared. So 4x squared times 3 is 12x squared times negative 4, that will be negative 48x squared. Then third term, negative 4 squared is 16. Then we're going to have here 3 times 2x, 6x, so 16 times 6x, that will be 96 plus 96x. Then negative 4 cubed, negative 4 times negative 4 is 16 times negative 4, that will be negative 64. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions about the topic, Please comment down below and see you next time.